Hi, my name is Ms. Munson, and today we're going to be talking about some special issues that we have with our string bass, uh, specifically the tuning, and also um, when we're shifting on the G string, our C, C sharp, and D. We're going to start with a little clip about tuning, and just like the other um, tuning video, we're going to uh, pluck the string, look at our cork tuner, and see if the note matches what we um, need it to match. So if you look here, I was plucking the, top, the highest string, the G string, and I was getting an F sharp. Well, that's not what we want. We want a G. Um, so if we think about where the F sharp is, it's right below our G. That means that the note's too low. We need to raise the pitch. So we go to our machine head tuners. Here's the G one right here. And what I'm going to do is push the pick down away from me. And as you see, it got down to the G very quickly there. So I pushed it forward away from me. Now let's go to our D string. As you see there, I had an E flat. Again, not the right note. What we want is a D. The E flat is right above the D, A, B, C, D, E. So that means that our um, note is too high. We need to lower the pitch. So again, I'll use my tuners here. And this time I'm going to pull it backwards towards me. And as you see, we're getting closer to the D here as I pull it towards me. Now these machine head tuners are not like the fine tuners or the pegs on the other instruments. They're actually more sensitive than any other tuners in the string family. They're more like guitar tuners. And if you've ever tuned a guitar by twisting the peg way too much, it can easily break the string. So for your bass tuning, you want to turn the, the um, tuners very carefully, not a lot at once, because you don't want the notes um, going too drastic in any direction because that can easily break the string. Let's look at some of our um, shifting notes on the G string. Um, I'm going to start out here with a basic D major scale because in our D major scale we have a C sharp and it will end on our high D. Get to the G string here, A, B, C sharp, D, which I used with my 2 4 fingering. As we look at that again, we go up to 2, C sharp, 4 is D. The 2 is in the middle between these two lines here. Now a 1 to 4, 1 on the line, is going to be a C natural to a D. C to D. So remember, there's a difference there between the C natural on the line and the C sharp, which is in between those top two lines there. And now I'm going to show you how we can do it with different fingerings. Two on the B and four on the C natural. So instead of four to one, I'm going two on the B and four on the C natural. This just goes to show you that we don't have to use the same fingerings every time. When we're shifting, moving our hand back and forth on the fingerboard, we want to go in the shortest distance possible. We don't want to shift any farther than we have to, which is why we're using different fingerings here. So in our song Rocking Strings, we're using the one, two, four pattern. Using our one on the A, two on the B instead of our normal four, and then fourth finger is on that C natural line right here. Now as I'm shifting, I'm keeping my thumb behind the neck, and I'm moving my whole hand at once. I'm keeping it very light. I'm not grabbing or putting my thumb way on the other side. I'm keeping it behind, and I'm keeping my hands very loose while I'm shifting. I'm still pushing down while I'm playing, but I'm keeping my hand very relaxed. And you see my whole arm moving as I shift. Now in Sansa Chroma, we do have another shift. Here's the bass part. We go to G, B, there we go. So we used our fourth finger with the B, 
and then fourth finger with the D, so it's a quick shift there. Four, four, open. B, D, open D. Now with our melody in Sansa Chroma, we do a C sharp to D on the shift here. Four, two, B, I'm using the one. Let's look at that again. Four on the high D, C sharp with the two, and then one on the B. So again, we're using a different finger this time to make the shift a little bit easier. And then going down. Back to A. So those are some examples there of how we can use different fingerings um, to help us do our shifts faster because on the bass we're doing a lot of shifting very quickly and we want to get to um, the note as quickly and efficiently as possible. I hope this helped you with some of your um, string bass um, issues like tuning and shifting and thanks for watching.